Remember the movie Step Up, where the main character breaks into an art school and then falls in love with dancing? This story seems to be copied from the life of this actor, only instead of school, it was theater, and instead of dancing, it was acting. Vin Diesel grew up without a father, was bullied at school, and the theater incident could very well have ended up with jail time. But instead, he became a popular actor, director, screenwriter, and producer. In this new video, we'll tell you about his path to success and what book played a role in it. Okay. I'll play along. Vin Diesel, how he chose acting over prison. So we stick to the plan. Vin Diesel's real name is Mark Sinclair. He was born on July 18, 1967 in Alameda County, California. Shortly after his birth, his mother moved to New York City, where he grew up. Mark has a twin brother named Paul who, by the way, looks nothing like him and works as an editor. The boy's biological father left their mother before they were born. After becoming famous, the actor stated that he is of ambiguous ethnicity and is definitely a person of color. He also said his parents' relationship was illegal in some parts of the United States because of laws against mixed marriages. Either way, the actor has never met his birth father. His mother's name is Dolora Sherleen Sinclair. She is of English, German, Scottish, Irish, and Austrian descent, and has dedicated her life to children and astrology. Her second husband, an African-American man named Irving Vincent, helped her raise her children. He was an acting instructor and theater manager. Eventually, his mom and stepdad had children together, Mark's half-siblings Tim and Samantha, who now help him in producing. Thanks to Irving, the family often attended premieres of theater productions and movies. Diesel made his stage debut at age 7, appearing in Barbara Garson's children's play The Dinosaur Door. The play was produced at theater for the new city in Greenwich Village, New York. This was preceded by a lucky incident that could have turned sour for the future star. Mark, along with his twin brother and mutual friends, broke into the theater building with the intention of destroying it. They were stopped by the theater's artistic director, Crystal Field, who, instead of calling the police, suggested that the little troublemakers should take part in an upcoming play. The woman gave each a script and promised $20 on the condition that they attend the class every day after school. Since then, the stage has fascinated Sinclair. He practiced acting throughout his teenage years. In an interview, the actor said that as a child, he knew that someday he would become a movie star. At the age of 15, his voice broke and he started sounding like an adult. No wonder Diesel's calling card now is his very deep voice. At school, the skinny and lanky guy who was also left-handed was nicknamed Worm. To get back at the bullies, the young man began to work out regularly. It paid off. By the time he was 17, he had a muscular, athletic physique. He was even featured in a breakdancing video tutorial at the time. And before long, he was working as a bouncer at a trendy New York nightclub. And that's when he shaved his head to look tough and changed his name to Vin Diesel. Vin is short for Vincent, his stepfather's last name. And he got the nickname Diesel from his friends for his assertive and energetic temperament. In his past career, he's been involved in about 500 fights with intoxicated customers. Working as a bouncer was actually perfect for him because there was free time in the morning and afternoon to attend acting auditions. After high school, the guy attended Hunter College in New York, where he studied English and creative writing, which later led him to screenwriting. The first movie with Vin was the 1990 drama Awakenings. The role was so episodic that his name wasn't even listed in the credits. In 1992, Vin appeared in a music video of his cousin, rapper, and producer Kwame. After three years of study, the ambitious guy dropped out of college and went off to conquer Hollywood, but failed to make an impression, and instead of working in cinema, he was a telemarketer. After a year of struggling to find his place in the sun, he returned to New York. To support her son, Vin's mother gave him a book by writer and director Rick Schmidt called Feature Filmmaking at Used Car Prices. It provides practical movie-making tips that Vin Diesel considers to be part of his success. Inspired by what he had read, he decided to make a semi-autobiographical short film, and in 1995, he released the independent film Multifacial, playing the lead role in it. Enough real work, real acting work, but I don't have to sweat commercials, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to see like Pacino doing potato chips here, or Denzel doing donuts. Based on his personal story, the movie was screened at the Cannes Film Festival. It took three days and $3,000 to shoot it. 
That same year, 1995, Diesel founded the production company One Race Productions. Riding the wave of success of his short film, he returned to Los Angeles, where he again began working as a telemarketer to save up the money for his first feature film, Strays. After eight months of hard work, Vin saved about $50,000, which allowed him to start working on a movie where he played a gang leader who was inspired to try to change his lifestyle after falling in love with a woman. He also acted as a screenwriter and producer of the film. To be honest with you, I'm probably one of the most misjudged, misread guys in the city. I hope so. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. In 1997, six months after filming, the movie was accepted to the Sundance Film Festival and even received a nomination. This led to a deal with the MTV channel to create a TV series based on the film, which was never actually produced. Once again, the aspiring actor came back to New York disillusioned, just to get the phone call of his dreams. The fact is that he wrote a three-page letter to director and producer Steven Spielberg, in which he expressed his admiration for his work, particularly the movie Schindler's List. Spielberg was impressed by his heartfelt words and his short film, Multifacial, prompting him to invite Diesel to join the stellar cast of Saving Private Ryan. Arza, is it, uh... It dropped dead, Corporal. Gotcha. And another thing, every time you salute the captain, you make him a target for the Germans. So do us a favor, don't do it. Especially when I'm standing next to him, capiche? The small role of a soldier in the Oscar-winning war film was written specifically for Vin by the director. Vin says Saving Private Ryan was one of the most challenging movies he's ever been in because the story was based on real people. He earned $100,000 for starring in it, and along with his colleagues on the set, he was nominated for a Screen Actors Guild Award. In 1999, Diesel voiced the main character in the animated film The Iron Giant. At the time, he was seen more and more often with actress and model Samantha Phillips. They dated for about a year. In 2000, three movies with Vin Diesel were released. Earlier in the year, the thriller Boiler Room premiered. And in the American TV movie Into Pitch Black, Vin played the soon-to-be iconic character Richard B. Riddick. He also appeared as the same character in the sci-fi feature film Pitch Black. All you people are so scared of me. Most days I take that as a compliment. But it ain't me you gotta worry about now. The filming was challenging for the actor. He almost dislocated his shoulder, and the special contact lenses that made his eyes glow in the dark damaged his eye, and he had to go to the hospital. This same year, the media began reporting about the rising star's relationship with model Carmen Electra. There were also rumors of Diesel's short flings with models Chanel Ryan and Summer Altus. 2001 was a highly successful year for the actor. He played Dominic Toretto in Rob Cohen's action movie The Fast and the Furious, which came out in June of that year. Nothing else matters, not the mortgage, not the store, not my team and all their bullshit. For those 10 seconds or less, I'm free. Vin portrayed the leader of a street racing gang engaged in petty robbery. Also, one of the main roles was played by then little-known Paul Walker. The movie was a box office success, and Diesel earned $2 million for his role. Since then, his career and earnings kept skyrocketing. Then he appeared in the crime thriller Knockaround Guys. It was reported that around that period, Vin was dating his Fast and Furious co-star Michelle Rodriguez and Italian actress Asia Argento. In 2002, the actor was nominated for an MTV Channel Award for Best Actor and won the award for Best Screen Crew for the movie Fast and Furious. Shortly after, he starred in the action film Triple X also acting as executive producer of the movie, which earned him $10 million and a nomination for an MTV Movie Award. I don't mean to nitpick, but you're the worst at this torture thing. <laughs> <laughs> you slap me again, I'm gonna throw you a beat. Notably, all of Diesel's character's tattoos in the movie were fake. After breaking up with Rodriguez, the heartthrob actor was rumored to be in a relationship with singer Mariah Carey, but it was also short-lived, just a few months. He also dated American author Kareen Steffens. Meanwhile, passionate about video games, the actor founded his own company, Tygon Studios. 
Developers and animators working in it create games based on movies starring Vin, who, in turn, voices virtual characters. He also created the record label Racetrack Records. These projects are part of Diesel's corporation under the general name One Race Films. In 2003, he was considered for the lead role in the superhero action film Daredevil, but in the end, it went to Ben Affleck, and Diesel earned $2.5 million for his role in the film A Man Apart and its production. Diesel didn't appear in Too Fast, Too Furious because they failed to agree on a fee. The following year, the actor appeared in the sci-fi action film The Chronicles of Riddick, a sequel to the movie Pitch Black. I had mercs on my neck. I'll always have mercs on my neck. I spent five years under frozen heat just to keep them away from you. The role of a galactic criminal, along with the production of the film, brought him $11.5 million and a nomination for the Golden Raspberry Anti Award. Simultaneously, they released a computer game and a short animated film where Diesel voiced his character and took on the production work. He admitted that doing so many movies in a row was very challenging. To cope with the situation, he started smoking a lot. As for his personal life, he briefly dated model and actress Shannon Malone at the time. In 2005, Vin got a role in the comedy action film The Pacifier. In 2006, he played gangster Jackie DiNorcio in Find Me Guilty, a courtroom comedy drama based on real events. I've been in prison half my life. <laughs> Sometimes I think I had too much legal experience. For this role, Diesel gained 30 pounds and spent two hours in the makeup chair every day. The director had Vin come to the script read-through in full makeup and already playing the character to make it easier for the rest of the cast to react to him. Although the actor received critical acclaim for his performance, the movie wasn't successful at the box office. In the same year, Vin played an episodic role in the movie The Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. At that time, there were rumors that he was having a fling with American TV presenter Maria Menounos. In 2007, Diesel was supposed to play the role of Agent 47 in the movie adaptation of the video game Hitman, but ultimately turned it down and only worked as an executive producer on the film. Since that year, he has been in a relationship with Mexican model Paloma Jimenez. In April 2008, the couple had a daughter, Hanya Riley Sinclair, then attended the birth and cut the baby's umbilical cord. Meanwhile, he starred in the failed sci-fi action film Babylon AD, and then, along with most of the cast of the original Fast and Furious movie, returned for the fourth installment of the franchise. It was released in the spring of 2009, and Vin took on production duties as well. For this film, he was nominated for an MTV Channel Award for Best Actor. Are you one of those boys who prefers cars to women? I'm one of those boys that appreciates a fine body regardless of the neck. In the meantime, he traveled to the Dominican Republic, where he directed the independent short film Los Bandoleros, starring in it. Through this movie, Vin expressed his love for the country and its multicultural aspects. The actor is acquainted with former president Lanel Fernandez and even appeared in one of the politician's ad campaigns. At that time, he also quit smoking and worked on voicing characters in several video games. In 2010, the actor had a son, Vincent. That's when they started work on Fast Five. All the characters from Dominic Toretto's team are back in the fold. The world premiere of the film took place on April 15, 2011 in Rio de Janeiro, where the shooting took place. Diesel also acted as a producer for the film, which earned him a $15 million paycheck. You tell your boss exactly who did this. Tell him there's more coming. He then served as executive producer of the 15-episode television series The Ropes. In 2013, he produced and starred in the sequel to The Chronicles of Riddick. Interestingly enough, Finn agreed to play an episodic role in the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift in exchange for the rights to the Riddick franchise from Universal Pictures, allowing him to produce the project on his own. He also voiced his character in the animated film Riddick Blindsided. That's when Fast and Furious 6 was released. Vin Diesel played Dominic Toretto and also co-produced the movie. The movie received generally positive reviews from critics, and in August, the actor received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2014, thanks to his role in Fast and Furious 6, he, along with Paul Walker, won the MTV Movie Award for Best On-Screen Duo. 
He also voiced Groot in the Marvel Cinematic Universe film Guardians of the Galaxy and was again nominated. I am Groot. By the way, Diesel worked in multiple languages, for which, as many sources reported, he earned $54.5 million. However, in July 2023, director James Gunn clarified that this sizable fee for Diesel was the sum of four payments of approximately $13 million each for different films in the franchise. Interestingly enough, before accepting the job, Vin brought his son a comic book that showed characters from Guardians of the Galaxy and asked him, which one do you think they want Daddy to play? The toddler immediately pointed at the tree. The actor was shocked, and that's how his son helped him agree to the role. In 2015, Diesel starred in and produced the fantasy action film The Last Witch Hunter. Elemental magic is neutral. But this is different. This is dark magic. Meanwhile, he earned $47 million and became the third highest paid actor thanks to the release of the film Furious 7. This movie earned Vin another MTV Award nomination. In March, the actor and his girlfriend had a daughter, Pauline, who was named after the actor's friend and fellow Fast and Furious actor Paul Walker, who died in a car accident in November 2013. By the way, Vin is his daughter's godfather. In 2016, Diesel played a minor character in the war drama Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. At the time, he earned $35 million and became the seventh highest paid actor of the year. The Fate of the Furious came out in 2017. Then, the actor apprised his roles in the action movie Triple X Return of Xander Cage and in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. He also starred in a Dodge Car commercial and earned $54.3 million, making him the third highest paid actor of the year. In 2018, Vin again voiced Groot, this time in the Marvel action film Avengers Infinity War. And the following year, his voice was featured in Avengers Endgame. Then he began working as an executive producer of the animated series Fast and Furious Spy Racers, and also voiced Dominic Toretto in four episodes of the project. In addition, the actor voiced Groot in the animated film Ralph Breaks the Internet. From June 2019 through June 2020, Diesel earned $55 million. He got about $20 million of that amount via a base advance for F9. In 2020, the actor declared his passion for music with the release of the song Feel Like I Do. In the meantime, he was producing the superhero action movie Bloodshot, in which he played the lead role. I got some scars, but I'm not ready for the cemetery. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but you got yourself killed. In 2021, the next Fast and Furious was released, the ninth major installment and tenth feature film in the media franchise, with Vin once again playing an iconic character and producing. Only good thing about Dad dying was he didn't have to watch what you became. Never deserved the Toretto name. Another joyous occasion was the wedding of the actor's goddaughter, Meta Walker, whom he led down the aisle. In 2022, Vin voiced Groot in the superhero movie Thor Love and Thunder in 10 episodes of the animated series I Am Groot and in the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. The year 2023 marked the release of Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 and Fast X, starring the actor. He also appeared in Colombian singer J Balvin's music video for his song Toretto. Some scandals also came into play. At the end of the year, the actor's former assistant, Asta Jonasson, accused Diesel of harassment. According to her, this happened in 2010, after which she was fired. In addition, Jonathan accused Vin and his company of creating a hostile work environment and gender discrimination. The girl is requesting a $10,000 fine against One Race Productions for each violation and compensation for emotional distress. According to the actor's lawyer, Diesel vehemently denies the allegations. However, he was reminded of his 2017 interview with Brazilian YouTuber Carol Moreira when the man acted extremely intrusive. Now, the Fast and Furious star is starring in the fourth installment of the Chronicles of Riddick franchise called Riddick Furia and is voicing the animated series Ark. The action comedy Muscle, the action movie Triple X 4, and Fast X Part 2 are in the pre-production phase. The actor is also expected to produce all these projects. 
As a young man, Vin Diesel was characterized by his amorous nature. His girlfriends included Playboy models, actresses, singers, and TV personalities. In addition to the aforementioned beauties, he had brief flings with actress Michelle Rubin, host and writer Elise Jordan, models Layla Roberts, and Myla Sinanaj at various times. Singer Kaya Jones has also been rumored to be one of his partners, but she has denied being in a relationship, saying she only went on one date with Vin. Diesel collects vinyl records of rock bands from the 50s through the 70s. As a kid, he never watched TV shows, but he watched the same 1954 movie On the Waterfront dozens of times. As for his favorite movie, it's Gone with the Wind. Despite performing many dangerous stunts on his own at the start of his career, Vin Diesel is afraid of roller coasters. Though not as diligent as he used to, the actor keeps in shape with regular workouts, part of which is mixed martial arts. He also lifts weights and socializes with many bodybuilders. Vin Diesel has set up his own charitable organization called One Race Global Film Foundation. He supports Dave Aoki Charitable Fund, the nonprofit organization Children of the Night, and remains involved with his late friend Paul Walker's foundation, which provides grants and scholarships to students. The actor can easily earn up to $50 million a year, so it's no surprise that his fortune has reached the $225 million mark. He has a house in Beverly Hills worth about $5 million. Inside, it has a living room with a fireplace, a recreation room with a pool table, and on the premises, a tennis court and an outdoor pool. In 2016, Diesel put his Hollywood Hills home up for sale for $1.4 million. Vin bought this property in February 2000 for $562,000 and rents it out for $5,800 a month. Occasionally, the actor lives with his family in the Dominican Republic. There, he rents a house on the coast in one of the gated communities. A few years ago, the media reported that due to the numerous security guards of the celebrity, the lives of local people were severely affected. In addition, Vin also owns a $1.1 million, 1,100-square-foot luxury two-story RV. The vehicle boasts a high-tech kitchen, media room, children's playroom, two living rooms and bathrooms, and even a private office. While filming one of the Fast and Furious installments, the man rented an 11,000-square-foot mansion in Atlanta. He paid $45,000 each month, and the property itself was valued at $3.3 million. The actor is an avid car collector. His garage has models for every taste, from classic American muscle cars to modern luxury cars. There are iconic cars like the 1970 Dodge Charger RT and 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. The 1963 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Grand Sport and the 1974 Plymouth Barracuda. He also has a 1966 Pontiac Bonneville in his collection and a 1970 Dodge Charger Tantrum, which is a modern version of the classic Charger. He also owns a Toyota Supra, Mazda RX-7, and other vehicles. Toretto, I'll see you soon. No, you won't. Vin Diesel considers himself a versatile actor. How do you feel about his work? Let us know in the comments.